Growing hemp is more a labor of love than it is uh, looking forward to making a bunch of money. Was that a mouse? Man. Oh my gosh, you have to come see this. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. They smell good. Yeah, that's the goal. Heavy. <laughs> Waving. <laughs> We've got some spider mites. Well, that sucks. It's been kind of frustrating as a first year hemp farmer, like understanding the plant and I can get the knowledge and experts and consultants coming in and they don't really know either. We are not at a point right now to where there's any kind of consistent approach to how we do this. The processing is very difficult. It's a labor intensive deal. Within one acre of hemp, you have about 6,000 hours of labor. That's a lot of labor. And this ain't no icky, sticky, wickly icky. It's a CBD. Sometimes I eat it. <laughs> Anywho. Hemp is defined as a cannabis plant that is less than 0.3% THC. I've heard of two cases where people have gotten pulled over with um, big trucks full of it. The cops still say like, well, we don't really know if this is marijuana or not, and we're gonna just confiscate it. I don't need this. We don't need this in our life. We, we have a successful business. You guys are writing the playbook. You guys are a part of this history. If we don't all have a market to play in, then we really, really are gonna have a short and expensive history to tell. I don't think the opportunity is there. We didn't expect to make stupid money, and we never did expect this thing to be a, a pot of gold. The good contracts that we've had for three years running mm. have been built on trust, so by the end of the year, I will make it right with every one of them. There's not much money to be made right now anyway. If the GMO companies influence the lawmakers to then redefine what hemp is, the only way we're going to be able to grow hemp is through a patented seed from a GMO company like Monsanto. We're working so hard, but for what? I mean, this is medicine. This is to help people be healthy and well. We want to do it ethically and responsibly, and we know science is on our side. You figure one out of 4,000, one out of 2,000, somewhere in there, no matter what, is going to be a male. God help us if we have to get into the GMO world to try to get that done.